Bill Reed's discovery of his own Haida ancestry was just as much of a surprise as his sudden entry into the world of art. His creations illustrate his mastery, not only as a Haida talent, but as an artist who's risen to worldwide prominence and whose work has signaled the renaissance of Northwest coast art and culture. And you begin to understand the spiritual and aesthetic legacy of Bill Reed in portraying the natural world through the iconography and the symbology of Haida art to the world. Bill Reed was indeed one of Canada's greatest artists, and in my mind, ranks with Emily Carr and Lauren Harris, other members of the Group of Seven, as uh, a magnificent exemplar of the beauty of this country and the spirituality of this country. This is very important to mention that Bill is actually the only artist that I know of who approached Northwest Coast art from the jewelry medium. She has her nose hooked in, into her mouth as a sign of transformation. She's being transformed. And she's being transformed into her alter ego, the dark fish. What is very important is that when Bill started carving her only, he realized that she was pretty, but she was a bit lonely. So he started slicing a piece of boxwood to carve her body. And it is only then that he realized that he was dealing with the transformation myth of the dogfish woman into a shark. This necklace is called the Milky Way necklace. It is a tour de force in its realization. It is actually made of two necklaces occupying the same space at the same time. And although it does not look Haida at all, Bill always said that he could not have made it had he not been involved in making Haida art. Reed portrayed the creatures of the natural and mythical Haida, raven, killer whale, bear, dogfish, in large-scale sculptures, as well as finely detailed jewelry. When you come here and participate in a visit, you begin to learn something about the special nature of this place.